All right, what is up? So, as I mentioned in the last video, I may be running back through on easy mode. I have indeed done that. Quite surprising how fast you do that when you just skip all the events. <laughs> um, I did, I think I screwed, I mean, here's the thing. I'm like 99% sure I made all the same decisions and shit that I made the first time through. But I did get one event, one new event that did not happen before that was very odd and I'm actually kind of glad well I'm gonna end up if I do I'm still up in the air on whether or not I want to play through this again and do the true ending shit if it has I don't even know if this game has it does this game have a different ending I'm assuming yes but anyway um it was this event where like Fiona discovered a charm spell and Fiona and Ina both uh, got excited, I guess. Let's say excited, because the alternative is awkward. <laughs> Especially in terms of it being Fiona. Like, that girl is supposed to be like eight. It was, that was just a bad event. <laughs> and I'm, I, I'm kind of glad that I didn't, that I missed that the first time around, that I did not have to record that. But anyway, um, we may get some repetition here, because I don't know exactly, um, like, I don't know exactly which commissions I've gotten and which I haven't, so I've just left it alone for a while, so there is probably going to be, well, I know there's going to be, um, some, so if I kind of recognize the event, then I'll just skip through it, but usually the events based off of commissions aren't exactly, like, terribly important in the first place. But yeah, the one thing I mean, like, I've gone back through, and when going back through, I think I kind of realized, like, my biggest problem with this game is the simple fact that, like, oh, wait a minute, I can do that one. The simple fact that there are so many aspects to this battle system that are, uh, that are left over from when this game was a strategy RPG from when um so actually let me check this shit out how do I auto this I can't remember which button it takes to auto it it is not triangle it is not any of the buttons that I am currently pressing so I know I know square will skip it I obviously don't want to skip it there it is but so anyway, there's just so many gameplay aspects that are left over from when this game was a strategy RPG that just don't make sense and are bad in the context of this combat system. Things like item range restriction. Like, why did they get rid of that on resurrection items, but not on the rest of them? And then you have shit like area of effect attacks. I mean... In my opinion, they should just get rid of those altogether. Obviously, area of effect attacks have been a big part of my game. But as well, they've also been, like, 90% of the time, my characters have died, like, that I've been put in a bad position, not just, like, one weaker character gets one shot. But, like, when I'll lose three characters, it's because of an area of effect attack that occurred that I have no control over. You know, I can't control the specific positioning. I mean, yeah, you can choose different formations, but that really doesn't help because no matter what formation you choose, there's still gonna be shit clumped together. It's just how it's going to work. That's how it's going to happen. And you really, I mean, there's really no, can you don't really don't have much control over it. Not enough to matter. So because of that, area of effect attacks are kind of a detriment to the game due to that system. And then on plus, you know, the fact that one of the things that always kind of like, what was it? Well, one of the things throughout this game that has just this continued pissing me off is there's just, there, even your own area of effect attacks, you have no control over where they hit. I mean, like, this is a game where you can move your characters, where your characters will move wherever the fuck they need to in order to attack. But you have no control over where exactly they move to do the attack for the maximum potential in the first place. 
I mean, like, I've tried to control it to an extent in general. Like, 90% of the time, you use vices. I think his is, like, it's either a 3x3 three three grid or a 4x3 grid. But either way... Um... Oh, I remember this one. But either way, no matter what... I was like, oh, yeah, so, like, 90% of the time, the one you target is on the far left edge. And so then the other two are, you know, going off to the right. So in general, if you have three enemies side by side, you want to attack the leftmost one and then hopefully Vice will target all of them. But sometimes, just randomly out of nowhere, he'll target the one in the, he'll use it so that it's targeting like straight down the middle. Where the one you're targeting is in the middle rather than on the leftmost side. And it's just like, it's like I said, out of nowhere. You can't control it. So I think that's just my biggest issue with this game right now is the fact that I mean there's I could probably go off for like an hour on all the various things I dislike about this game's combat system but I think that's the biggest one is all this unnecessary shit that already admittedly kind of bugged me about the first two games but that at the very least you could still control it to a certain extent. And now it's just like, you can't do shit about it. You just gotta deal with it. It's even more limited than it was before. And even further out of your control than it was before. So that is frustrating for obvious reasons. But now I'm done ranting. That's, I mean, hopefully that'll be it. Even now in this game, even now on easy mode, like I'm still the last few bosses that I've fought. Uh, I mean, before this one, I went and I fought... I actually haven't fought that Titan thing, but whatever the hell it was called. I don't can't remember exactly what it was. I just remember Titan. I'm assuming that one's title-related, because I haven't fought it yet. Uh, the other one was there, the Neo Orthrus or whatever. I fought that one, and that dude beasted on me. Like, my characters were perfectly fine, and then all of a sudden it would use an ultimate skill, and everything just died. <laughs> like, everything was just dead immediately. So... Oh yeah, here we go. This is probably it right here. So yeah, that's must have been title related. So when I go do that, I'll go do that again off camera. But yeah, I mean, like, it's just... I don't know, there's just too much. It was just too much. And when I was getting that mad in a first generation boss fight, and there's three generations? That's just not gonna end well, man. Actually, what was I gonna... obviously I just did all of the I just did all of the other place there shouldn't be anything up there there's just that dungeon oh that's another thing I, I was gonna mention uh I went through that dungeon and I got I did a fair amount of stuff in that dungeon and um it's very I guess like Forging in this game seems to be very different from um, from forging in the other game, and that like you were limited to exactly what was listed on um, in your weapon book. Like you had to go find weapon books wherever they were in the world. You had to go out and find them before you can unlock them. But it seems if I understand what happened correctly I forged vice a shield sword which I didn't do in the other playthrough um, because I was fine with what he had and after forging vice the shield sword other shit opened up to forge and I never got like another weapon book or anything so I think it's diff this, that system the forging system in this game is different and that like you need to forge certain shit to unlock other shit. It's not all just based on the books you get. Either that, or I just completely missed getting a book. One of the two. But what I want to do is come here, so I can check this shit out, and apparently that, that was pointless, because n there's nothing on here. I thought this was like the final skill shit, right? There it is. What the f oh, 
Oh, original skills. Those original skills are... That's the shit that, like... Oh, okay. Original skills are the EX skills of this game, correct? I'm, I'm understanding that correctly. So maybe that's what the final skill is? Like, after an ultimate strike, if you've used those two, then you do the final... I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna put Janus in my party right now. And we're gonna figure this shit out together. Because, once more, the game sucked ass at explaining that shit. It was terrible at it. So let's handle this. But I want to find out, like, where am I going next? Because I don't see... Clearly not here. I guess maybe I just... I'm just gonna have to go do... Let's just see if I can... Oh, that's the one that I was at, wasn't it? Ha! Ah! I'm just gonna, like, portal around to hella random places and hope... that I can see something, but I can see an event somewhere because there weren't any events in that other continent. I'm not seeing anything here. Oh, is this the one that we went to originally and then like it just straight up teleported us straight back? I think so, but I don't see. Yeah, there's no event thing on that. And there's nothing down there wherever that castle is. Okay, well, I'm, I, I, I have no idea where to go. I hope there's something here, because I don't have a damn clue where to go. I guess I'm just gonna have to go commission hunting. Because, clearly... Can I see anything from here? This is where that cave is. Yeah, there's no event over there either. Yeah, so it looks like I'm going commission hunting. Uh, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna get in a fight. Okay, so we're gonna figure out this final skill shit right now against these hornets. So let's go. Let's go nuts. Alternatively, let's just miss. That's cool, too. Yeah, that's fine. No biggie. I ain't even mad about it. See, like, look how much damage I'm doing. Isn't that absurd? Oops! Damn it. I hit the wrong button, my bad. Oh, what? Or that- what? So what is that? What? So does he just- They- oh, they just- so they just do them together. Oh, okay. So you don't have to use those. You just have to have the two in your party at the same time. Holy shit, that is doing a lot of damage. Why would you ever choose? Because that cost one ultimate point thingy. That's all that shit cost, was one ultimate point. Why would anyone ever choose to just use... Like... I don't really see why anybody would ever not do that. Why anybody would just use like one original skill for that instead. Because that cost one, and that did, like, what? how much damage does that shit do? Like, 15,000 or something? I'm going to pay attention this time. But I'm pretty sure that did, like, over 15,000 damage. You stupid cocksucker. You knocked that shit off. That damn missing nonsense. Alright, so there. So now let's pay attention. Oh, okay, I guess it didn't do quite that much since we had, if we had that much. So let's see, so we're at 63.45, so let's pay attention. Actually, I guess it's not doing like, it's not doing area effect at all, holy fucking shit. Yeah, it's about 15,000. That's a lot of goddamn damage. So against a single target, there's really no reason to, to not use that shit. Against multiple targets, there is a good reason. Oh, that outside shit is another thing that I just straight up don't understand. I'm like, I don't really get... 
I mean, I know what it does, because it's happened often enough that I'm just like, oh, okay, you know, this. no need to use that now. It's just a waste of time. I mean, it's happened often enough to me, and I've attacked things that are considered outside, but I have no idea what makes them be considered outside. I don't get that at all. <laughs> it's just, I mean, that's another thing. It's just unexplained. It's just randomly there. They're just randomly outside. What does it mean? I legitimately do not get it. It does not compute in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's very weird. Okay, so we figured out Final Strike. So it's not the... I mean, the way it sounded was like... Because she... You know, when they talked about it, they're like, Oh, there are specific requirements you have to meet. So I'm looking at that shit. And it's making it seem like the requirements are... You have to, uh... You have to do these in the same turn. And then you can... And then this final strike will be the result of doing these things. But nah. <laughs> you just gotta have the two people that are in there in the party. That's it. Making it sound, like, so complicated. Like, there are very specific requirements you gotta do that are kinda hard to achieve. No, you just gotta put the two fucking characters in your party, and that's that. Alright, game. <laughs> Alright, Record of Augur's goddamn war, making it seem like this shit was gonna be difficult. So anyway, I'm gonna save first. Let's be smart. Because, like I said, I mean, even though it is on easy mode, there are still, you know, like, whenever they use an original... I'm gonna try to remember that now. These things are called original skills. I'm gonna try and, re I'm gonna try and remember... But, like, whenever whenever an enemy uses an original skill, man, it's a coin flip. You just gotta hope that everybody isn't in the area of effect. So, I'm gonna handle this shit. Hopefully it opens up other events. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna start commission grinding. And then I'll come back when I start turning in commissions and shit. So, yeah, we'll be back.